everyone in this video we are going to see questions from environmental health and sanitation question 1 control of water supplies to ensure that they are pure and wholesome it's a statement of a world health organization b pollution control department c department of health d water supply department in this question control of water supplies to ensure that they are pure and wholesome so it's a statement of which option so the first is world health organization and the second is pollution control department it won't come and department of health is also it's not there so here it's related to water supply department but they didn't have any statement like this so definitely the answer will be option a world health organization so the answer for question 1 is world health organization next question production of any object by an individual or institution and all the pollution that object or activity might cause throughout its life cycle comes under the principle of a polluter pays principle b principle of cradle to grave c principle of discharge and emission d infrastructure and basic life amenities here the first polluter pays principle uh, it mainly deals with regulation of pollution affecting land water and air okay second option it will be deals with this production of any object by an individual or institution and the pollution that object or activity might cause throughout its life cycle okay and the third option it won't come fourth is also it's not related to this so the answer is option b principle of cradle to grave next question number 3 overcrowded house causes option a respiratory and skin disease option b gastrointestinal disease option c cardiovascular disease option d congenital disease so here overcrowded houses so overcrowded houses means definitely it will be related to respiratory and skin disease because gastrointestinal diseases are not related to that cardiovascular diseases is not related and congenital disease also it's not related so the, definitely the answer will be option a respiratory and skin disease next question number 4 safe water is option a free from harmful chemicals option b pleasant to taste option c usable to usable usable for domestic purpose and the option d is all the above so safe water means free from harmful chemicals it's correct pleasant to taste definitely safe water should be having good taste next it it will be used for all domestic purpose so the answer is all the above next question number 5 in normal soil the minimum distance between the well and the source of contaminants a should never be less than 15 meters should never be less than 10 meters should never be more than 15 meters and the option d should be should never be more than 10 meters so here the correct answer is option a it should never be less than 15 meters next question number 6 disease caused by insect vectors especially mosquitoes that breed or feed near water or water washed disease water related disease both a and b none of the above so the correct answer is water related disease because water washed disease aisa kuch disease it's not there okay so definitely the answer will be option b water related disease 
Next, sod is relies on dash to kill bacteria. Option A, chemical treatment. B, sun energy. C, radiation. And option D, none of the above. So, here the correct answer is B, sun energy. Next, question 8. Potassium permanganate is used for disinfestation of fruits and vegetables, water, air, instruments. So, here it helps to disinfect fruits and vegetables only because water we will be using chlorine, then air we won't use potassium permanganate and instruments also we won't use potassium permanganate. So, the correct answer is option A, fruits and vegetables. Next question 9, orthotolidin arsenide test is used to determine Option A, amount of free chlorine residual. Option B, pH of water. Option C, turbidity of water. C, all the above. So, here the first option is correct because pH of water we won't test with this. Turbidity of water also we won't test. So, the correct answer is option A, amount of free chlorine residual is determined by orthotolidin arsenide test. Next question number 10, acid rain is a global effect of noise pollution, water pollution, air pollution, soil pollution. So, the correct answer is air pollution. Next question 11, global warming causes increased dryness of climate, reduce food production, increase sea level resulting flood. So, the three options are related to that. So, the correct answer is all the above. Next question 12. Hexachlorobenzene is a type of POP, B, DDT, C, pollutants, D, herbicides. Okay. So, here option A is POP. POP means persistent organic pollutants and B means dichloro, diphenyl, trichloroethane. So, the hexachlorobenzene comes under persistent organic pollutants. So, the correct answer is option A. Okay, persistent organic pollutants. Next question 13. Pesticides mainly enter into food products due to A. Non-observance of prescribed waiting periods. B. Use of substandard pesticides. C. Wrong advice and supply of pesticides to the farmers by pesticide dealers. D. All the above. So, here all the above because all answers are related to the pesticides, how it is entering into food products. So, the options are all the options are correct. So, the answer is all the above. Next question. Immediate constituent of physical environment is air, B, water, C, soil, D, sun. So, the correct answer is air because air is surrounded everywhere in the physical environment. Next question 15. Fertilizers is a source of A. Domestic source, B. Industrial source, C. Vehicular source, D. None of the above. The correct answer is industrial source. Next question 16. Green belt is a remedy for air pollution, B. Water pollution, C. Noise pollution, sorry, C. Soil erosion, D. Noise pollution. The correct answer is option A, air pollution. So, green belt is a remedy for air pollution. Next question 17, animal dung, crop residues, grass and leaves are A, domestic waste, waste, B, agricultural waste, C, commercial waste, D, industrial waste. So, here the animal dung, crop, grass, everything it's coming. So, definitely the answer will be agricultural waste. Next question 18. Disadvantages of improper disposal of silage. 
option a include the potential to contaminate the soil b pollute water sources and create next c favorable breeding condition for disease vectors d all the above so here if we are not disposing the silage properly these all the three options will be there so the answer is all the above next question 19 carriage sanitation system is used a septic tank b biomedical waste c biogas d silage so the correct answer is septic tank so thanks for watching i hope you all enjoyed this questions so next video will be updated soon so until then like share and subscribe to my channel thank you